So welcome. So we're here with David Eaton from our VMware team. And uh, we normally think in, in terms of VMware with virtualization, uh, but obviously they've got a lot of things that really uh, enhance those products uh, and add a lot of other capabilities. And it sounded like that's what you wanted to talk about today. Yeah, thanks so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. Yeah, VMware has a product called vRealize Operations. It's part of the vRealize product family uh, that is here to help make your life easier and, and a little bit better. Uh, vRealize helps kind of you know take that data, that the aggregate you know data that's out there from all the different uh, vendors and manufacturers, hardware, software that's in your environment, and it takes it all, puts it all together, and, and gives you some actionable. Uh, data and items uh, to make your business run a little more smoothly. Oh, that sounds like a great tool. Now, um, is this you know just getting data from VMware, uh, or is it giving me a, a larger picture of my infrastructure? No, it, it's it's going to get you data from every bit that's in the environment. It's, it's all based off of uh, from a licensing standpoint. It's all based off of the number of operating systems in the environment, whether that's physical or virtual. Uh, if you can see on this first slide, you're going to see that this uh, this particular slide is going to be for the Microsoft SQL database that this customer has in their environment. Uh, you can see that it's it's color coded uh, based off of the KPIs that the customer creates. So really, with this data, you can take uh, you know everything you get from your environment on a day to day basis with the different management consoles that that are available to our customers. You know, for Dell hardware. HP hardware, IBM hardware, you know, uh, Microsoft licensing, all, all these different consoles that people will log into to manage their environment. It, we take all that data and we, we, we pull it into a single dashboard and single console for customers to, 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 to use. And they can, uh, and like I said, in this, in this particular slide you see in, in front of you, uh, this is gonna be for SQL, but we have many other slides or many other dashboards that will uh, show you the type of information. So when we're talking about, I mean, obviously it's called operations. And so that kind of puts me in a certain kind of mindset. Uh, so if I'm using vRealize operations, uh, what kind of decisions would I be making based on the data that I'm getting? So, you know, what, what would be some of the things that would show me that then going to lead me to say, hey, this is what I should be doing, whether that's a corrective action uh, or whether that's uh, a, a, an enhancement or a relocation of, of assets? Yeah, uh, great, great question. So on this next slide, you're going to see a, this is one of our troubleshooting slides. This is a uh, or not slides, but dashboard. Uh, this is for pure storage. Uh, it's going to be uh, essentially troubleshooting a pure array, and this is going to show you recommendations. So this is uh, the data that vRealize is collecting from this pure storage array. It's going to show you uh, up in that first section. It's going to show you uh, the name of the array, the adapter type, uh, the version, um, how many are available. So that, that's your availability. Uh, one of the cool Features too is that that alert count and critical alerts count and intermediate alert uh, or immediate alerts count. So those those counts are uh, going to give you uh, kind of a running tally of, of of any sort of errors or issues that array may happen to see. So it, it helps you um, you know kind of stay on top of of your hardware. Uh, and that section two, it's going to show you you know is the latency high, and it's going to show your total latency, your read latency, your write latency, uh, and then just to the right of that you're going to see section two recommendations this is where vrealize really shines it gives you an idea it gives you some ideas to, to implement uh to help you know turn those yellow boxes into green boxes you know how, how can we help uh you know lower that overall total latency how do we help lower the read latency uh, and then that next section down this is this is all about behavior so this is going to show you what the behavior of that latency has been over the last six hours and then also it's going to show you the same recommendations as well. Uh, they're probably going to be similar to section two as far as the recommendations, uh, just based off the fact that this is what you're looking at from, um, you know, the, this, this dashboard by itself is going to mimic a lot of the same recommendations based off of, uh, you know, what, what's proven uh, to, to work in the past. 
So for that example, you're kind of looking at it from kind of the, the, the platform standpoint, in, the, in this case, storage, um, kind of thinking about it from an operational standpoint, uh, the the other piece that comes to mind is can I use this from a planning standpoint? So uh, to to your point, okay, maybe I have let's let's say I have a, a performance issue on that storage, uh, that's going to influence where I might want to put certain workloads. So does it go to the point of helping you make those kind of recommendations where stuff should go or where things might need moved if they're not meeting a performance target if we're looking at it from an application performance standpoint? Yeah, that, that's a great question. So v realized operations, it, it takes all of that data and it, it kind of can help predict the future. Uh, it goes in and it helps uh, IT admins and, and really purchasing teams uh, decide on uh, what hardware uh, may be needed and when it would be needed. Uh, and that helps kind of offset some of those capital expenditures because you can really consolidate. Like with virtualization as a whole, you know, it, it's all about consolidation and, you know, taking more hardware and, and, and virtualizing it and making it software and, and put on less hardware. You know, there's there's more energy efficiency there. Uh, but with realize operation, it really takes that whole vSphere mantra and expands on it and really uh, helps helps IT admins look at the environment, say, hey, I have X amount of uh, CPU left, RAM, network even, uh, hard, you know, hard drive space or storage space. It takes all that information and it says, okay, based on this current rate, you are going to run out of X at X time. You know, it could be in two weeks from now, it could be in three weeks from now. And then if, if, if you're running close to it and you don't have the ability to just go out and run out and buy a new server to, to throw in the environment, uh, it'll make recommendations on how to um, maximize what you have remaining. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. All right. Thanks, David. Thanks, guys.